I get broads in Atlanta, Trisha yeah. Dolina yeah. shit, sit the phone yeah. Credit cards in the scammers, wake up beside you, shit, the phone What's up YouTube family, it's your boy Mike Diamonds and today's a bit of a video, more of like a rant but also a discussion guys, bodybuilding, a gift or a curse? So a few months back I was in London and we were questioning people on what they thought of Mr. Olympia and what they thought of the physiques they saw, we compared the new age bodybuilders against the old age bodybuilders. I agree, Billy, you guys could pick one of them, who do you guys think has the best looking body from them? No one. <laughs> no one. Most of the average public's reaction was that it was too much. But, you know, only us who ever do bodybuilding or do follow the sport look at it in a different way. And the eyes we see is very different compared to the average person. And do I see it as a gift, as a curse? So I've written some stuff down here and why I think bodybuilding can be a curse and why I think bodybuilding can be a gift. So the stuff that I consider bodybuilding being is a curse is that you get a lot of image issues. You know, you start off and you just want to, you know, go have some biceps and maybe a bit of chest and maybe have your abs visible, but every time you continue lifting, it's just more and more and more and more, you know? Maybe at this size you're happy, but then you get to that size and you're not happy and you're just never satisfied with what you have. And I feel like that causes body image issues. You get to a point where you don't want to show your body because you don't think you're in the best conditioning and you just more self-conscious of your body when you start bodybuilding. Another tip is that, and many people know this quote, is that the day you start lifting, you're forever small. You're never satisfied and that kind of obsession can sometimes be dangerous. And that brings me into the next topic, macros. Those numbers are numbers that can allow you either to grow or to get smaller, to get shredded. And those numbers can become obsessive. We're human beings, we obsess about numbers and we obsess about hitting our goals. And macros is a huge thing. How many times have you guys out there being on a cut or trying to lose that shred that amount of fat or whatever and have cut on so many opportunities that you've had in your life, going out with friends or experiences that you could have had but you had to let it go because of bodybuilding. Those are things that I could consider something that can be a huge curse and like memories that you can't get back. Come on guys, sometimes you need to remember that the numbers aren't gonna be there for the rest of your life. When you die, no one's gonna remember how many macros you had to hit but many people are gonna remember the memories you were able to create in going out to eat. And us being in this aesthetic, you know, time, aesthetic revolution, a lot of us are a lot in a deficit most of the time. And I can attain myself to that because I feel sometimes I've had this obsession with being shredded and that can hinder bodybuilding in terms of people wanting to grow, in terms of myself. And it's something we have to be very wary about and something that I consider a curse. Another topic I've written down is clothing. How many of you have bought clothing that you absolutely love, but because you're either bulking or shredding, the clothing doesn't fit you anymore? And another one, and I think this is one that is related to a lot of people, is being natty, being a natural bodybuilder. In this day and age, you're gonna go on Instagram, you're gonna go on YouTube, and you're gonna see so many people you look up to and so many physiques that you see previously used to be in the magazines. But now it's more real to us that a lot of the physiques we've seen now can't be attained naturally. And why I consider bodybuilding a gift, one, is learning the balance. When you're doing bodybuilding, you learn that everything you do is calculated and that you have to be balanced. Everything you train is balanced, everything you do is balanced. The way you train particular muscle groups is balanced. And a lot of the things you learn in the gym is translated out of the gym. Protein farts can be a gift, I guess. Um, your insides are clean when you include this. And some people love the protein farts and I'm currently suffering with the protein farts, but I mean a gift and a curse at the same time. Another thing that I feel bodybuilding is a gift for is that it inspires a lot of people. How many of, of, of you guys out there, think of how you started. Who inspired you to start lifting? Steve Cook, Greg Plitt, to name a few. There's so many guys out there and I really believe that bodybuilders or people who pursue this fitness journey are one of the most inspiring people out there because they always undergo this huge drastic change 
and are able to inspire thousands just by what you decide to change within your own self. So I think bodybuilders and people in the fitness lifestyle are the most inspiring people out there. And you know, just on the end of that note, you want to continue on the natural quest. Continue being natural, happy, you know, seeing your body progress every day, bulking up, shredding down, bulking up, shredding down. In the end, for me, my bodybuilding is a gift that bodybuilding has taught me to forever be dedicated, persistent, and it's taught me that obsession isn't a bad thing. Obsession can be a good thing if it's a good obsession and constantly every day working hard for it. Every rep counts, every set, every macro that you have to put into your body and you take that in the gym and you learn in fitness and apply that to life. Whatever you want is possible. Guys, this is a different video, a bit of a rant, but I think bodybuilding is a gift and a curse. And this is my thoughts on it. Comment down below what you guys love the most about bodybuilding or what you hate the most about bodybuilding. Like the video guys, if you guys did enjoy it. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Throw your diamonds in the sky if you 